Picked the wrong house, pal. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetheart. Can I have a popsicle? Uh, can you wait about 20 minutes? Why? Well, because I... Here, why don't you take half of mine? Thanks. I'll go upstairs to Grandpa and tell you about Lily and the crossing guard. Coming over for dinner Friday. It's a surprise. <laughs> Joe, bringing the little lady around to meet the family, huh? I mean, you move right along, you smooth operator, you. <laughs> I'm not the operator, it's Lillian. You know where she wanted to go on our first date? Her place. <laughs> she thinks I'm a hunk. <laughs> Listen, if the lady's coming on too strong, just ask her to ease up. Yeah, bite your tongue. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Dad? Hey, Brian. Dad, does it ever occur to you that the two of us were destined to achieve greatness together? Brian, did it ever occur to you that I'm not an idiot? What do you want? Our basketball coach went out on us and quit. What, right in the middle of the playoffs? Yeah, there's two games left. We only have to win one to be champs. And where is our coach? Lying on his butt in some hospital. He's in the hospital? Oh, something about chest pains. Wait, let me get this straight. You're really ticked because Coach Tuttle has the nerve to put his health ahead of your 12 and under basketball league? I need to understand. So what do you say? Can you help us out and coach the team? One game, two games max. Well, I suppose I could juggle my work schedule. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Dad, you're the greatest. <laughs> Coach Tuttle having heart problems. Why? He's younger than I am. Must be hereditary. Nah, his wife said it was just pressure from coaching. <laughs> Big future in cheerleading. Thanks. Dad, it's for you. How do you know it's for me? If it was a kid, they'd just walk in. Four more years, he'll be out of high school. Five pops. Mr. Taylor? Yes? Hi. Uh... I'm Dave Gilbert. This is Vicki Berkowitz. Our boys play basketball with Brian. We hear you're the new coach. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Come on in. Thank you. I uh, hope we're not catching you at a bad time. No, no. No, please, have a seat. Uh, I'm afraid I only made it to a couple of the games this year, you know? We had one heck of a fire season. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, help me out. Now, your sons are... Dave Jr., number 52, leads the team in rebounds and uh, hard fouls. <laughs> and my son, Roger, plays... <clears throat> Point guard. Oh, yeah, Magic Berkowitz. <laughs> That's my little scoring machine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we uh, don't want to take up too much of your evening. You just stop by to say welcome and uh, maybe ask you a few questions. Like, do you see yourself as one of those, well, you know, win at all cost kinds of coaches? Or will you play all the boys regardless of their ability? I understand your concern. Now, believe me, I'm going to make sure that every kid gets a chance to play and have fun. I told you he'd be trouble. Excuse me? Look, pal. The only reason the Wildcats are even in the playoffs is because Coach Tuttle listened to me. Connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? If winning is so important to you, why don't you just coach the team yourself? I would. If that bozo league president hadn't had me banned during last year's playoffs. You know, I still say I only nudge that kid. <laughs> Well, as long as I'm coaching, basketball is going to be about kids having fun. Oh, right. And how much fun is it to be a bunch of losers? I thought the point of youth basketball was to teach the kids sportsmanship. Hey, you want sportsmanship? Join a yacht club. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Got a club for him. <laughs> for much. Your grandfather's girlfriend is coming over here for dinner. He wants us to look nice, so you're both going to get haircuts, and that's final. Okay, but why do we have to go to Sal? What's wrong with Sal? He's a great barber. Sure, if you're going into the Marines. <laughs> I hear he's a gardener on the weekend. <laughs> Come on, Sal cuts my hair. <laughs> We're doomed. <laughs> why can't we go someplace good, like the hair statement? Excuse me, but I think a haircut should cost less than a house payment. Now get out of here. Oh, man. He's probably going to cut our hair with a weed whacker. Hey, Dad, I'm ready to go. I told Mark we came a ride to the game. Hey, Mark, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> you a little nervous about the big game today? Oh, not really. I mean, I won't be playing. I haven't played in a real game since the fourth grade. <laughs> well, you're going to be playing today. Really? I guess I'd better bring my sneakers. That would be good. Uh, Dad, could I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Mark, why don't you just wait outside and practice dribbling? We'll be right out. Okay. I'll get it. I'm used to chasing balls. <laughs> Dad, you're not really going to put Mark in the game, are you? Of course I am. He's part of the team. Hey, your butt's part of your body, but you don't stick it out there where everyone can see it. I don't know. We stick you out in public every day. until halftime. Just play good defense, protect the ball, we'll go into the locker room with the lead. Mark, take your sweats off. You're going in. Oh, into the game? Yeah. Great. Okay, Dave, Magic, Jason, Cam, you guys go out there with Mark. Brian, take a rest. You're putting Mark in for me? I can't believe my own father would do that. I'm not here as your father. I'm here as your coach. Now, coach says sit down before I talk to your father about this. <laughs> Mr. Sportsmanship. It's a tight game. You just put in our worst player. Connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Dave, I'm the coach. You are not. Connect those dots. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Mark, good defense now. Get back. Come on, come on. All right, just one basket. No big deal. We'll get it back. Okay, good clean pass now, Mark. Good clean. Pass it, Mark. Pass it. Pass it. Not to me. Hey, it's one game. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Get another shot at it tomorrow now. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, Taylor. Nice to come from a head lost. <laughs> Sorry, coach. I guess everybody hates me now. Hey, that's not true. You stink, Phil. <laughs> ah, don't blame him, son. Blame the coach who puts in a kid who stinks. <laughs> you stink, Taylor. <laughs> we'll get him tomorrow. We include Mark. Of course. When he came in, we were up by six. Two minutes later, we were 14 points down. Connect the dots. Hey, I'm your father. Don't talk to me that way. I wouldn't talk to my father that way. My father's a great guy. It's my coach who's a major league sponge head. 
Look, son of Spongehead, why don't you take a long walk around the building and cool off before you get yourself in some real deep water? Well, I'll take a walk, but that won't change things. You play Mark tomorrow. We'll never win the championship. Give me a break. <laughs> job on our hair. A great job doing what? You guys look exactly the same. Come on, did you guys really get haircuts? Yes. We told him to leave it full on the sides. Uh, and in back. <laughs> and on top. Well, then where did he cut it? Underneath. <laughs> guys, your next haircuts will be at Jack's House of Mohawks. <laughs> Where's Brian? Upstairs. Still mad at Dad for being a sponge head. <laughs> Sorry. He says sponge head, not me. Brian, come down here. Are you down there? No, I'm outside throwing my voice. Yes, I'm down here. But I'm staying up here. I'll give you exactly two minutes, and then I get out your baby pictures to show Lillian. You know, the bathtub collection. <laughs> I'll be right now. Uh oh, there she is. Para ding. <laughs> Lillian, hi. Come on, Dad. <laughs> I picked these just for you. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. But I don't have anything for you. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be my son-in-law, Jack. Jack, this is Lillian. Hello. Hello. Just told us a lot about you. Did he tell you I could just eat him up with a spoon? Uh, no, I think you forgot to mention that. <laughs> oh, those are my grandsons, Jeff and Steve. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? You know Allison. You look nice without your stop sign. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, Lillian. Hi, Brian. How are you doing? Pretty well. Forgot his life has been ruined by his father. <laughs> uh, Brian, could I see you in the kitchen for a moment? Excuse me. I have to see Brian in the kitchen for a moment. <laughs> Okay, we're alone. Get it off your chest. How are we supposed to win a championship if you keep letting Mark play? Brian, some things are more important than winning. Well, yeah. If you're a pro, there's money. <laughs> but winning's all we've got. Let me explain it this way. I was the captain of my sixth grade football team, and one day the coach got sick, so I had to decide who played and who didn't. And I had this good friend on the team named Stinky Stuffmine. What kind of name is that? Uh, Hungarian, I think. Stinky is a Hungarian name? Brian. Dad, I'm listening. And so far, it's a pretty good story. <laughs> so anyway, Stinky wasn't much of a football player, so I never put him in the game. And it was a big game. His parents had come to see him. And he just sat there on the sidelines, staring at the ground, ashamed. I mean, even now, talking about it years later, I feel terrible that I did that to him. Where's Stinky now? What do you mean? Whatever happened to him? Uh, I heard he went to Harvard and became a successful tax attorney. There, you see, it all turned out fine. <laughs> now, maybe that wasn't the best analogy. But I had another friend named Milton Spall. Oh, yeah? What's he doing now? He's a very happy, childless man. <laughs> Any more questions? Just one. I mean, you keep talking about Mark's feelings. But what about my feelings? I mean, I worked hard all season to win a championship. And all I can tell you is that's what's important to me. Don't you want to hear about Milton Spall? <laughs> Guys, how 
Guys, just play loose, have fun, and give me your best shot. Come on. Go Watch that. I'm Rupert Phelps, Mark's father. Oh, sure. I, I see the resemblance. Look, I just want to tell you how much it meant to Mark to finally play in the game. I mean, most coaches would have gone for the win. <laughs> but you're the kind of guy that cares about a kid's feelings. <laughs> Even if it meant you lost the game and everybody in the building hates your guts. <laughs> That's me. You played my boy. I love you, Forrest. <laughs> Great. That's Matt. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, uh, I carried away. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry, I'll put Mark in when the time is right. Big lead. Please, God, give me a big, big lead. Gangsters all out of fouls. Put in another player. Preferably someone without a prison record. Okay, who hasn't fouled out yet? Okay, Mark, you're in. No! He stinks! Don't listen to him. Just go out there and do your best. go in. If they boo me anymore, I'll throw up. Okay, Mark, I understand. Magic, you're back in. Maybe you can walk it off. No, put Mark in. Mark, we really need you, buddy. I don't know, coach. You know, I'm, I'm really not very good. <laughs> Come on, pal, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, get in there. Attaboy. Attaboy. All right. Leg feeling better? Oh, well, the sitting down must have loosened it up. Uh huh. What can I say? Stinky Stuckmeyer lives. Yeah.
Coming to this team party? No way! Hey, it's their team and they don't want you. What can I say? Connect the dots. We are number one! We are number one! We are number one! We are number one! You're the greatest. You're not so bad yourself, Spongehead. <laughs> <laughs> 